Hi guys, Mandy here. I had a request video to do, uh, show the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I had a request to show how, um, the Blythe's eye mechanism worked. Super Lily Sweet, um, was interested to see how, um, the Blythe's eyes change. So I'm going to show off my Blythe's and I'm going to show, um, my American Girls as well because I had another request to, um, show my collection, which is very small. That's why I'm going to do this two together. Um, so here we go. <laughs> so this is a Blythe doll. This is not an original Blythe. Um, she is, uh, very Vicky and she is the newer dolls, the Neo Blythe's that came out in 2000s. Now, I'm just going to tell you really quickly because I know some of you are in the States and I know some of you um, thrift shop and I know some of you hit up yard sales and that's so awesome. Unfortunately, in Canada, this situation I don't think has ever happened, but I have seen, read this a few times on Blythe blogs where someone in the States has gone to a real estate sale and found an original Kenner for a few dollars and then sold it for two grand. That is how much they are going for. The cheapest I've seen was about $900. In the, in the, the originals are from the 70s. I've seen them with broken bodies and they're still going for almost $1,000. The t I quickly looked yesterday to see how much they were going for and they're up to over $2,000. So keep in mind, <laughs> if you are out and about and you see a doll that looks like this, check her back. Um, I'm not sure if my camera will pick this up, but her back says Blythe um, it, uh, with the, um, <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> the, ah, you know, the C, the copyright, there we go, um, with a 2002. Now, if this was an original girl, I, you can't see it, but if it was an original girl on the back, it would say Blythe Kenner um, copyright, um, 19, or seven, 1972, around there. That is what you're looking for, and if you see that, <laughs> put on your poker face, give them the five dollars, and then go on eBay and sell her for two grand. <laughs> so, here you go, Jen, this is how it works. They have, uh, pull string on the back, and you pull it gently, and their eyes change color. And this is actually why in the 70s they didn't do very well because apparently kids were afraid of them. And so they sold what they had and they kind of went in oblivious for a long time. And then in early 2000, um, they popped back up because there was a huge cult following of adult doll collectors who were very interested in them. And so they started making them again. So all my girls, that's Arden, this is, um, no, this is Arden, that was PETA. <laughs> this is Arden, she's the Perry Prosy. Mm, they've all got crazy hair. And um, this is my little pixie. She's Wendy Weekender, she's very funky gal. And she, her name is Piper. Because I was very into Orange is the New Black, it just come out when I got her. <laughs> And she's so cute. And all their clothes they're wearing are from Etsy. Um, I, I have all their original clothes and their boxes. I had seven girls at one time and I kept all their boxes and all their original packaging because I thought, you know, if one day um, my doll collection does end up with Emma, she can easily sell them for $100 each and, you know, make a quick buck. Um, but I did sell a few um, last summer. <laughs> Anyways, but all the original boxing, everything. So I'm going to take you off the tripod and I'm going to flip you around, maybe, <laughs> and show you um, my American girls. So right now I only have three girls. My collection downsized a bit, um, but I'm working on it. I just love to... Um, I'm not the greatest photographer, I'm real. I'm not at all, but I love to bring them outside and uh, take pictures of them. I don't take a lot of pictures of my American girls inside because I just find them, I don't know, it's just too, for me, because I don't have any, I don't have a dollhouse or any props or anything, so it's kind of boring, but um, when I get a chance to bring them outside, um, I love to 
photograph them by the water. Um, I'm really lucky to live right by the lake. Well, not, I had to go into town, but you know, so I can go there every day and it's beautiful and I like to take the their photographs there. I'm I'm super excited to. Um, this is Leah, the girl, the new girl of the year, and she has an awesome swim set out. I can't wait to buy it. I told them I would get it in the summer, and we could take pictures of her down by the the beach. Anyways, that's my girls, and you saw my Blythe girls. They are so beautiful. Um, I really enjoy dressing them and brushing their hair and I would still love to collect. There's so many cute ones um, out right now. Um, it's just, they are expensive too. <laughs> so I couldn't do both the Reborns and the Blythe dolls. So I've kind of put a pause on my Blythe dolls, but these girls I will keep um, in my collection. They're beautiful. And there's my snoring dog. <laughs> there's the quiet one. Anyways, I love you all, and I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, if you, if anybody else has a request, I'd love to um, fulfill it for you. This was fun. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.